sometimes I get carried away. So, you know, um, I've been told that I might be loud. I don't know what that's all about. So anyways, um, thanks for coming. Um, if you've noticed that um, down there at the bottom, we, we, your little chat thing, um, one, go ahead and use chat to ask questions as, as we're going through this. And I'll do my best to pay attention and um, actually um, answer them. Uh, let me get, there we go, close that, there we go, let me put that over there, there we go. Um, in the chat function, um, if you go down, you probably got a little, like a message box and it says number one. What I did was I um, put in the presentation that I'm going to share with you today. There's one for C21 and there is one for Coldwell Banker. If you click on the link, it will actually take you to the Google Drive for um, each company. Uh, and um, you can download the entire presentation as a PDF. There's 106 pages, okay? There's no way in 60 minutes I'm going to get through 106 pages. Um, it's just, it's reality. Because again, I have a tendency to follow squirrels here and there as well. Um, but it's... Awesome to see Paulina from Manistee up there. Oh my goodness gracious. And, um, you know, for those of you that don't think you get enough snow, just talk to Paulina and she'll, she'll fill you in on what snow looks like um, up there in Manistee. But um, so um, I'm hoping you're, you're as enthused about 2023 as I am um, in this new approach that we're hoping to um don't see the links in the chats okay so we'll do that again um let me go you got them now all right all right so um this is kind of the game plan hoping to do more or better a better job of what tried to accomplish last year going from office to office to office and thinking um i'm gonna just tell you straight up i feel like i, I failed miserably um because i had so many people that had to um see me each time i came to the office so it was like i wasn't getting the message across um and that's on me not on the not on you so um going forward for the whole month of um of January, um, it's going to be all about the basics. And if you've already been to a class, you're going to see some repeat. But the big difference is, is I'm, instead of going through um, Moxie Engage, um, clicking here and clicking there so that you have to follow, I'm actually got a, a, an entire slide presentation. So if you wanted to, you're able to download it. Yes, the videos will be available, but in addition to the video, um, you'll have the PDF if you want to download it. And I say that because we all learn differently. And what is more important to me than anything else is that you embrace um, the tools that are given to us because they're meant for our good, man. I mean, it's just going to help us do business. But I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Um, and I'm going to start with a, um, base, a disclosure, okay? And it's the disclosure is all about, folks, you're independent contractors. You don't have to use any of this. But if you don't use it, that's on you too. Um, but it's here for your benefit. And I, I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you some, some um, I'm going to share some statistics with you. And I'm going to share some things that I've experienced myself. And I just hope that you can get as enthused about this product as I can. And um, going to the point of permission to use content. Okay, now I'll admit um, I'm big for going to here and there and grabbing photos and quotes and, and things like that and sharing it this way and that. And I've had Facebook reach out more than once and say that I violated community policies and you know they're gonna unpublish my page and all this because of either music I used or images that I used. All I can tell you is that within each one of our brands, and again, it's for C21, it's your brand studio in, in uh, 
for the CB side is the BRV. Um, and each one of them has photo has photographs in it. It has social media stuff. It's got videos. It's just got all kinds of crazy content that is available to us. And we don't have to worry about copyright infringement or anything else because it's all owned by the brand. I mean, because I use images extensively, yeah, I actually pay um, for my images so that I don't have to, I get a license with each image I download because I don't want to get into the issue of being put into Facebook jail. But bigger than that is I also represent the company and I don't want the company to be in Facebook jail either, okay? So own it or beware. Um, this is what I hope to accomplish. Um, our learn along our learning journey, like I said, I'm not going to be able to get through all 106, but I hope to do um, half this week, and then I'll, I'll do half again in two weeks. Again, January 10th is not going to happen. I forgot that Knockmore had the installation of officers um, membership meeting on Jan January 10th, and as a result of that, um, I was fortunate enough to be elected last fall, and so I need to be there, and I can't be here. So. Um, January 10th won't happen until later. Um, like, so in two weeks on the 17th, we'll be doing the second half of this. So um, I'm going to welcome you to engage. We're going to talk about some of the benefits. We're going to take a tour and we're going to talk about next steps. Okay. Are you ready? I hope you're ready. Let's, let's get, let's get, let's get focused. All right. So um, oh, just a minute here. There we go. So Strongly recommended, attend Moxie Engage virtual session. Well, hey, you're already here. So see what? You're already doing what's highly rec or strongly recommended. And again, this post-launch, folks, we're past post-launch. We've actually had this product now since, um, some of it actually since July of last year. Um, but we've had all of it since the spring. Again, if this is your first time looking into Moxie Works, Moxie Engaged is what we're going to talk about today, which is your CRM and your email, email marketing program, Moxie Impress. And I will do a separate class just on Moxie Impress because it deals with professional marketing tools where you get to integrate and use stuff from the MLS. Um, also, when you have a listing, Moxie Impress automatically will create um, 16 different projects for you that you can share, print, or do whatever you want. And then, of course, Moxie Websites. If you have not created your website, please join me on one of the Thursdays this month so that we can get your website up and running, get it active, ready to go, because your Zap website, and, and if you're on the C21 side, your C21 company website is going to go away at the end of the month. So let's get your new website up. Moxie Talent is for managers and recruiters. And again, if you're looking for any one-on-one -on -one time or group sessions, folks, you know, just reach out. We're going to make this happen for you. And then, of course, Moxie Present, my, my favorite listing presentation. I was just talking to a guy in between one class and the other class. I, I sent him a presentation. He's out in um, Arizona, and he's looking to sell a Michigan property, and he was blown away by the listing presentation that I put together. Again, I love it when things make me look good. Um, maybe I should get a different camera. Do you ever think about that? You know, get a bit different camera so that somebody else's face is, wow, now there's an idea. You know, for, you know, you all don't rec realize maybe as much as I do, but I've had to live with this face a lot of years, okay? I'm just saying, all right? But let me not digress. What is Moxie Engage? For one, and it's a contact management. In other words, if you haven't been, um, if you have not um, been engaged with your sphere, this is the tool for you. If you've not been engaged with your past clients, this is the tool for you. If you're new to the business and you're just putting together your sphere, this is the tool for you, okay? Automated email marketing business goal setting, 
business goal. We're gonna I'm gonna cover that a little bit more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip right on. And then of course it's integrated right with the MLS. One of the coolest things about this is 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 when you're working with a buyer and they end up buying that house and you take that MLS number and you put it in to that contact, it saves all that information that's on the MLS. And if you sell a property, same thing. It it keeps all that information because I, I don't know about you, but I talk to um, some folks and every now and then I talk to someone that I forgot what house they sold. I forgot what house they bought. Guess what? It'll be in my Moxie Engage. So I'm covered. I'm good. Yeah. Again, makes me look good. Um, and then, of course, task recommendations and coaching. Again, coaching is going to be a big thing this year, folks. Um, for January, the idea is all about basics. But if you come back and visit in February, the idea of February is how can you make it personal? How can you make it yours? Every single Monday, we're going to have Moxie present. How can you personalize it? Every Tuesday is going to be about uh, Moxie Engage and how you can use the, the campaigns or customize the campaigns and just uh, tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. And then, of course, Thursdays will be Moxie website. Now, one of the things that's also going to be included in next week's schedule that goes out on Monday, because each and every Monday at 9 o'clock, I'm going to send out a schedule to everybody of upcoming classes um, but it's also going to include a link where you can um, schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation times with me. So that's first three weeks of every month, we're going to train. And then the fourth week, and if there's a fifth week, then we're going to focus on one-on-one -on -one consultations with, with everybody to help them use what's available. But here's benefits of Moxie Engage. And a study done on, on 2020 productivity, agents who fully utilize Moxie Engage saw 65, 64% more transactions. Boy, there's a pastor in me. I, I'm, I'm exaggerating already. 64 says 64 and I'm saying 65, right? Um, yeah, it's one of the things we do. Anyways, um, it talks about where, where do you start your business day? What's your business goal? You know, some of you are motivated by uh, your business goals. Some of them, eh. You just get up every day and what am I going to do today? Um, surprise your sphere with personalized drip campaigns. You have the ability to edit each and everything. And again, if you knew what Zap was, oh my goodness, I, I feel for you. I feel your pain. Um, but the quality of the content and the images that um, make up the campaigns in this is just, it's, it's phenomenal. It's outstanding. Um, you're going to fall in love, okay? Now, sellers want to ask, would you reuse your agent? Did you reuse your agent? Now, look at that. It's kind of lopsided, isn't it? Would you reuse your agent? 89% said yes, but in reality, only 26% did. You know why? Because they forgot who we were. They forgot who we are. Because we didn't do what we're supposed to do. We didn't stay top of mind. Alex and Darwin, I hear their voices all the time. Top of mind, top of mind, top of mind. Buyers, when asked, would you reuse your agent? Well, 91% said yes. That's even higher than what it was for sellers. But then in reality, reuse was only 13%. That's even more. Are you serious? And why? Because we didn't stay in touch. That's on us. All right, we're at fall. Okay, so what we'll see, connecting your email to Moxie Engage, setting your business goals, agent dashboard, staying in flow, moving through the sales force, organizing your people. We're gonna get through that. And then we're gonna scream for help. So here we go. Dash talks to Moxie works, okay? It's imperative that your cell phone number is correct in Dash. It is imperative that your website is correct in Dash. It is imperative that your name, believe it or not, we have some people like myself who they want to call Robert. And of course, if you say Robert, I'm looking around because I, I feel like I'm in trouble, all right? But um, I go by Bob. Well, I want it to come out as Bob, not as Robert. Um, fortunately, our license number um, isn't required in the state of Michigan, but um, Moxie Works actually is a California program where it is required. Your social media contacts, your 
bio that's going to show up on your website under my bio and in, in uh, Moxie Present under your agent profile, your social media links, all that needs to go into your admin to get it done. If you have not did a email sync, and hopefully you're using your phone. I mean, we use our, we're on our phones all day, every day. And if we don't have our contacts syncing with our phone and with Moxie Engage, so when I add them here, then I got to go to Engage and add them. That just doesn't make any sense. That's not that's not using time wisely. Um, if you have not um, brought your contacts over from Business Builder or Zap, please do, because as of the end of January, you'll no longer have access to those people. And it's as simple as clicking on the button that says Migrate. And then you pick whether it's from a um, from Zap or you pick whether it's from Business Builder. Unfortunately, you can only do one or the other. Okay, um, but it is what it is. And then, of course, one of the greatest things about it is you start to um, create categories. It will automatically create those categories within your Outlook and or your Gmail account and sync for you. Again, I reiterate. If you have not gotten your contacts, migrate now. Don't wait until February 1st, because that'll be one day too late. Every now and then I get a delay for here for some reason. Anyways, um, Moxie Engage contact types, your sphere. Add anybody you know. You know, folks, I'm talking about the guy that you meet at the pizza counter. I'm talking about the guy that um, you meet at the car wash. I'm talking about your hairdresser. For those of you that have hair that need to be dressed, um, I'm not actually in that category, um, but that's another story. Um, the difference between personal and collaborative where it says nine clients, again, your, your collaborator is going to be like your title company, your mortgage company, your uh, home inspection guy, your asbestos guy, your handyman, and all those other things. Um, if they're identified as collaborator or personal, when you do batch builds to send stuff out, they won't automatically get it. So you don't have to worry about sending out content to your um people that are your partners. And I think that's huge. Um, now, if you want to, you can, but I'm just letting you know that by default, if you identify them as a collaborator or personal, they won't get it. Um, your clients, your sellers, your buyers, whether past, new, um, whatever it may be, they're the ones that are gonna get it. Your broker leads, if you don't have Moxie Engage set up, you won't get any leads. And right now we're, we were averaging about 12 per week. Um, and again, when I say 12 per week, I'm talking about um, both C21, 12, and I'm talking about CB12. And they automatically, their information goes into your uh, Moxie Engage account. And this is the way it works, folks. They completed a form. If they completed the form um, on your particular website, your, that lead is going to come directly to you. Okay because they did it on your site and they used your contact me form. If they did it on the company website, okay, because they did it for a listing or they did it just because they wanted additional information and they did it on the company website, then it gets fed into the leads agent, okay? And if it was dealing with a listing, then it's gonna go to the listing agent first. Now, if the listing agent doesn't respond in, within 30 minutes, then it's gonna get kicked out to, um, what we call um, bounce bounce around because it'll bounce from one agent to another trying to find a home and get accepted, okay? That's the way it works. You get the email notification. If you accept it, automatically the information goes into your Moxie Engage account. Create a goal. Now, this is a big step or a change in direction and the fact that um, while many of us took an opportunity in the fall to identify what we want to make in this coming year, that's one of the first questions it's going to ask you when you go into Moxie Engage. How much money do you want to make? Because what it's going to do for you is it's going to help you keep on track. It's going to let you know that you're doing well. 
It's going to let you do, your, you know, you need to pick it up a little bit. You can always change the goal, but instead of starting low, start high. You know, be, dare to dream, dare to, dare to think big. But once you fill it out, um, you know, as you go through the transactions, it's going to literally keep track for you. Um, and I love that benefit. So here we are. This is our dashboard. This is where we land when we log into Moxie Engage, okay? This is called the hub or the dashboard. And right there at the top, it says stay in flow. So in the, while you can change that, if you haven't changed it, that's what's gonna show up first. And again, the module shows you five contacts who you may or may not have connected, contacted with in the last 90 days. Now you don't have to go digging for the people to connect with, they're gonna give them to you. And as you either skip them or mark done, tomorrow it's gonna to give you five more. Oh, wow. We're gonna talk more about that in just a little bit, okay? Come on, there we go. So the activity feed um, by default comes in underneath that. And the activity feed, is recent activity in your sphere. This means any activity is, that has been generated through your interactions with people, okay? Things like email sent and presentations viewed. Let me say that again, presentations viewed. You've sent out a listing presentation. You're getting ready to go on that appointment. Did they look at it before you got there? This is where you're going to find out is under the activity feed. Did they look at the presentation before you arrived? Now you got a better idea what you're walking into, okay? Now you can adjust the setting for what types of activities appear in that gear icon, okay? So let's go here, come on. Well, website activities, email activities, presentation activities, automated activities. Again, you want the past three days, past week, past two weeks, past month. You get to decide, folks, what do you need to keep motivated? Um, you know, I, I'm using it all. I, I want to know. So next is your to-do list. This is shows any tasks that you set for yourself to complete. And again, this is within the checklist that um, are automatically created when you take one of your clients or one of your prospects and you either put them into a marketing program or you identify them as a buyer or seller and checklists are automatically created. And when you schedule things to do, not only does it to your Google calendar, your Outlook calendar, but it also shows up on your to-do list. So, um, Again, this just shows um, any task that you set for yourself, okay? It also has um, transaction tasks. In other words, today's closing day, okay? Um, now, if you have someone you're already working with, daily task recommendations related to that transaction will show up here to keep you on track. Again, it's gonna take things from those automated checklists you get to decide whether or not you're going to do it or not. You're in full, you're always in control. Okay. And it also shows the person's name. So you can click their name and go right to their profile for more information. Again, the dashboard is designed to be an easy view of all the tasks at hand. Okay. How much easier can it be? It's like having an admin without having to pay. So, here we are, um, this is the sales flow module. And again, the sales flow module is, displays your current progress toward a successful transaction. The numbers listed in each zone let you see quickly the total number of contacts in each zone. Now, think of this as the life cycle of your relationship with the people and each sales flow has a recommended list of tasks. And those tasks are the transaction tasks we saw on the to-do list. Now, select any of the sections to navigate to that group um, in the My People screen, and we'll go, go to that. So below the sales flow is your calendar. 
This is a calendar for the email that you chose to sync, okay? Um, and again, you can schedule either on your phone or you can schedule right within Moxie Engage. And when you do, it automatically syncs going back and forth. Oh my goodness, just making things so easy. So here we are, continuing to scroll down this page. Um, we're scrolling down to see my listings. My listings displays all your current listings and sold listings associated with your MLS account. And from here, you'll be able to send out listing announcements or just sold listing announcements. There are no active training listings right here right now, so that's why you don't see um, anything. But when you finally see the goals completion module, this will display the current year's uh, gross commission income that um, you entered when you first logged in. So you can, like I said, you can always go in and edit it, um, but uh, hopefully you're editing it to make it bigger. Select view to navigate to the goals page. Oh, well, here we're gonna bypass that so that I can get it back into the stay and flow. So scrolling back to the top, you'll notice that this menu bar on the top or on the on the uh, side over there stays, let me go, there we go, stays with us as you scroll through the dashboard, okay? And again, this bar represents all the modules on the dashboard and can be used. Now, you notice that it's got like the little cross on it. If you want to put it into a different format, you just click on that cross and you drag it to wherever you want, okay? So it gets to be where whatever you want it to be. Um, those menu bars across the top, they're always going to follow you through as through the entire process. Okay. So um, back to staying in flow. And um, this bar represents all the modules that are within your dashboard. So Remember, this is just going to show five people that you should be reaching out to. If you don't reach out to these five people, they'll show up again tomorrow. And they'll be the same five people until you either skip them or mark them as done. Now, see that little gear right there? That little gear, that little blue gear. Okay. So the stay and flow module is going to show you five people that you should be reaching out to. Now, these can be anyone in your sphere or leads that you've accepted from your, from your broker, okay? But you can also be specific with who you want it to show. So maybe you want to have pending only. Maybe you want past sales. Maybe you want leads. Maybe, you know, maybe, 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 maybe. You get to decide. You get to decide whether it's every 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days. You... You know, the, probably the biggest thing in, in Moxie that I've come across is you have to make a lot of decisions and you have to make a lot of decisions that are going to be good for your business. So if you try something and it's not working, then change it, change it up, identify how often you want to, to see those people and, and, you know, make it so that you're engaged. Don't, okay, we're in January, right? Everybody made their New Year's resolutions. Everybody's going to the gym for January. And then February comes along and we forget that we're going to go to the gym every day or once a week or once a month. Don't do that with your CRM. Make it so that you want to come in. You want to see who you want or who you can reach out to. You make it so that you are enthusiastic, that you're, you're looking forward to see how many emails were open and who opened them. Who can I call today? Who can I talk to? Because you're going to know specifically who opened the email. Okay. So once you decide off and you want to see a name and what types of kind, um, what types of people you want to see, again, you decide what action you want to take with that person. Click the reach out drop down to see some of the things that you can do. Okay. Click on that little button right there. 
And now you got a choice. You want to call them, email them, send them a neighbor or subscribe to them neighborhood news, put them on a campaign. Or maybe you just want to mail a personal email to them. But, you know, lots of possibilities. So when you click on that first one, it'll open up an email form to complete. It prefills the person's name. It's already making it easy for you. Add a subject line and some text. Send it off. Easy peasy. All right. Now, this will actually, when you click here, this will open an email form to complete. And again, it'll prefill with a person's name and you just add a subject line again, just like with the other one, okay? Now, this one shows that the email was sent and logged. And again, this will count towards an activity, okay? Now, one of the things that drove people nuts with Zap was um, you get a you get a broker lead and um, it would tell you you're out of compliance. And it's like, man, I did this yesterday. I did this. I took care of this, but you keep getting this notice that you're out of compliance. Um, we believe that the rules that we have in place now that you won't get that negative feeling that you're not in compliance. You're going to see them come up. Um, as part of your flow, if you have leads selected, okay, and they're your leads, they're your leads control. One of the biggest differences and one of the reasons why I love Engage, what first question I get asked is, why should I take the time to learn Engage? Because in five years, we're just going to have something new. What is awesome about Moxie Engage is that it's not actually holding any of your information your Gmail account or your Outlook account is. Your Outlook account and your Gmail are yours. They're personal. And as you create various groups and categories for past clients and, and new clients and new leads and everything else, again, the beauty of it is, is that all those folders and everything else are being created within your Gmail or Outlook account. So if down the road, we decide that um, there's something that's gonna replace Moxie Engage, you don't have to go through the pain again. This is a one and done. You're going to go through the pain one time to click that migrate button. Wow, that was really hard because now all that information is going to follow you wherever you go with whatever tool decides to come down the road. And again, it's yours. Um, with Zap, the company folks, they can see your contacts, they can see their contact information and everything else, not anymore. This is all yours, yours alone. It's personal. That's the way it's designed to be. And that's the way it should be. Okay. Um, but I also want to point out that the envelope icon, the top right of the screen, you can also send um, emails from that. Okay. Um, you see that over there by that little gear up there in the right corner. I love the fact that as you work through here, things just stay at the top forever and ever, okay? So I'm going um, I'm going to skip over and I want to show you what how to subscribe someone to neighborhood news. Um, if you've not heard about neighborhood news, neighborhood news is a um, three page marketing report done by zip code. And to answer the question that's going to get asked, and I put multiple zip codes, you have to do individual subscriptions. Um, so if you wanted to do three, you have to do three subscriptions. We're working on being able to make it all inclusive into one. But right now, um, we, while we can do that on our MLS, we cannot do it in Moxie um, Engage. But this makes a very nice, uh, easy to understand report. And if you've not put yourself in it, anything that you're thinking about sending for Moxie Engage, send it yourself first so that you know what it looks like and so that you can talk about it. What's the, what's the point in sending out a Moxie News to one of your prospective clients and they were to call you on it and you don't even know what's contained in it? How do you talk to it? Because again, you actually know who opened it. You know who read the full report, which gives you a reason to call them. You know, and it's one of those, hey, you know, I sent you a neighborhood news the other day, you know, looking at the uh, latest 
market, housing market in our area. Just curious, did you, did you get a chance to look at it? You already know if they did. They don't know that you know that they did or they didn't. They don't know that, but you do. So um, this is how easy it is, okay? So you're gonna click on add subscription, right? And when you click on add subscription, you're gonna have two options, neighborhood news or listing announcements. Subscribing people to listing announcements allows you to send out announcements regarding your just listed or just sold properties. There's also another feature on the left-hand menu called faves and saves that you can use to set up a save search in listing alerts for your buyers. Just like you can on the MLS, yes, you can draw circles, you can draw boxes. Oh my goodness, you mean I could do it all in one place? The reason why I do it here instead of on the MLS is because I know if they're looking at it. What's the point in sending out emails if you don't know that it's actually being looked at? Oh my goodness. So, neighborhood news. Here's an idea of what it's going to look like, okay? Page one, neighborhood news subscription. And again, um, quick and easy, concise, very professional looking, and you didn't do nothing more than, other than to click the button, neighborhood news, subscribe. Wow, pretty easy. Um, why do I like neighborhood news? Um, ten and a half months ago, I started a um, campaign with neighborhood news, reaching out to uh, absentee owners. Uh, again, my thought process and everything else dealing with absentee owners, which is nothing more than a fancy word for landlords. Okay, if I lost anybody, um, and again, you have the choice of whether when you do absentee owners, do you want them in state or out of state and whatnot. But um, so anyways, I, I have to date, I have uh, 1,409 people that I have subscribed to Neighborhood News, okay? And I love Neighborhood News because out of that 1,409, over the entire 10 and a half months, I've had a total of eight people unsubscribe. Neighborhood News goes out each and every 30 days. Each and every week, I get an email that tells me how many opens I get on my neighborhood news each and every week. 10 and a half months, only eight people out of over a thousand people have unsubscribed. Now, admittedly, only a, a third of them are actually open in that. And half of those, actually, it's a little bit higher than half of those are clicking on the full report. That tells me that this, mark, this, this neighborhood news has value. Because if it didn't have value, they would have deleted and unsubscribed a long time ago. And it's interesting for me to look and see, well, here's a person that didn't open it a couple of times, but now they did. And so the number is all, or the people that are opening it um, is ever changing. And I just love the fact because nothing I've ever done on the way of a drip type of a campaign have I had that longevity of success where um, they're still interacting with it and they haven't unsubscribed. Um, I love neighborhood news. All you need is a, uh, a name with an email and a zip code. Again, got buyers. One of the way, just letting them know what's and what 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 the market tempo is like. Now, again, you have two options for sending out the neighborhood news: quick or custom. And then the, the quick option, it's just that literally. Um, quick is click it, put it in the zip code, gone. All you have to do is plug it in. To do a custom report. What would happen if you could dial it in? Again, think about this now. You could set price minimums and maximums. You could identify three bedroom or four. You could identify square footage. You could identify number of bathroom. You could draw a circle. You could draw a square. 
Wow, think about that. Think of the possibilities of what you could do. Starting out with, um, that's that where that red box is, is showing you. That's where all your choices are. That's what your filters are, your price, your number of bedrooms. And again, the cool thing under filters, if you wanted to do just waterfront properties, you could do that even. Oh my goodness, the possibilities. So here we go. Now we're on the screen to confirm the contact email. And again, the reason they do this is because if you're like me, sometimes I have people that have a work email and a personal email. Well, I don't want to be sending them listing stuff to their work email, do I? Um, so on this, on this, you get to pick um, which of the emails you would want to use, and then you just send it off to them. Easy peasy. They open it up, and they're happy, and they're delighted because of what you sent to them, and you customized it for them. Again, it's going to give them trend information. It's going to give them market changes. It's going to give them um, the median sold prices. And of course, the best piece is it's going to have your contact info. Now, you can say, you know, now that you've subscribed to individual to neighborhood news, okay, because that's what we just walked through those steps. They, again, I'm going to say it again, they automatically get it. I mean, as soon as you click OK, it's gone. And if they don't unsubscribe, they're going to get another one in 30 days. I, it doesn't get any easier than this, folks. I'm just saying. Um, so here we are. Listing announcements work exactly the same way as the neighborhood news. So I'm going to just kind of slip past that, OK? to get us back to the dashboard because one of the things I want to make sure I touch on are the campaigns. And again, at the top, you see agent dashboard, you see people and you see calendar, you see goals and you see campaigns. I want to get into the campaigns a little bit um, before we're gone. So when you first come to campaigns, you don't have any. There's none there. And there's three type, different types of campaigns, okay? There's a sequential one where it allows you to communicate with a person through a regular flow of emails, you know, they're tied to a calendar date. Um, for example, the first email goes out today and then the next one in seven days and so on. Or you got date driven, which are like holiday type. Um, and then e-blast campaigns. And again, right now you have three different templates that are automatically created for you in e-blast. One being a blank template where you can literally build it from scratch putting in your own image and text. One's in there for um, open house um, or whatever other event you might have. You could do it, do it actually at just listening or just sold and send that out as an e-blast. Um, so I, I gave you a couple of options. If you have an e-blast idea that you want, then um, I'll uh, tell me and, and I'll create it, okay? Um, or how do we access Moxie? Absolutely. So um, again, if you're C21, you're going to go to C21 online and you're going to click on the little hamburger up in the upper right hand corner and you're going to select Productivity Hub. And after you go to Productivity Hub about three quarters of the way down, you're going to see Moxie Engage, Moxie Website, um, Moxie Present. You can click on any one of those and it will take you to all of those. Um, that's another nice thing about Moxie is once you click into the Moxie dashboard, it takes you to all of them. If you're on the CB side, then you're gonna log into my CB desk and one of the tiles is um, Moxie Works. You're gonna click on that. And the same thing is it'll take you into all of the tools. It's a one place, one stop shop, okay? Great questions. Uh, okay, so campaigns. Um, you can literally manage all of these right from your homepage, okay? In other words, I'm talking back at the early beginning, or you can come down here and get into the nitty and gritty, okay? So 
The first thing though is you have to add for the library. That's what that big blue button is all about. You have to add for the library because right now you don't have any. And when you click on that, then you're gonna get all these. And the nice thing is, is when it comes up, you see that preview button? You can actually look at and see what are gonna be offered. And when you do that, when you click on the preview button, um, if there's more than one email at the top, you're gonna to see little arrows where you can go see the second one, the third one, and the fourth, however many there are. Um, we're gonna talk about how you can change um, the scheduling of that. We're gonna talk about how you can add additional emails into a campaign. We're gonna talk about how you can edit the emails within the campaign. There's so many things I wanna teach you and so many things I wanna share um, so that you can truly understand the true benefit of how personalized this can be. Um, so anyways, holiday gift greetings e-card, pets edition, cute stuff, right? Now, one of the things I'm gonna ask of everybody is when you start to come in and you start to engage with these um, campaigns and, and, and things, if you're finding one that is really, really successful, would you please share that with me so that um, I can share that with um, the powers to be? And if you have one that's a dog, in other words, you sign 50 people up and nobody nobody clicked on it, nobody did anything with it, um, I'd like to know that too. In other words, I want to know your successes and I want to know your failures. Why? Because if we're having success with one and it's coming for more than one agent, then that's something that we want to continue to create and promote and make more of. But if we have some dogs um, per se, then um, maybe not so much. And I say that to the point that what is blew my mind away, okay? Um, there's a couple of different versions of holiday. You can do the traditional type holiday um, email. And of course, I thought the pets was cute. But if you got a group of folks that aren't pet friendly, or they're more into um, lizards and gizzards and whatever else may be under the sun. Um, my number one unsubscribe for 2022 was pet holiday cards. And I have no understanding, no logical. And again, fortunately, they didn't unsubscribe from everything. They only unsubscribe from the holiday. And again, that's one of the things that goes out with every single email that you send um, is an option to unsubscribe or unsubscribe from all. And again, you're probably familiar with that if you do any of that in your own email. Um, I am dumbfounded. So I'm, I'm looking for somebody else. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I'm not the only one um, that saw those kind of results. But I thought they were cute. So well, it is what it is. Um, so bottom line is, as you um, add it to your campaigns, then it shows up uh, see, below, see? Because when we looked at that first, that didn't exist over there. So now you're looking at um, the uh, recently closed buyer copy one. You're looking at the other. And again, right now, if you look at the top, you only have where it says awaiting setup, and then you look at running, and then paused or archived. Right now, there's only one campaign that's running. And then when you what it, what you do here is to find out what's going on, you click on that holiday greetings e-card. Okay, when you click on that, it takes you to this screen, and at this screen. You can edit the schedule, which is simply, you can change the date. Now, obviously for the holidays, you may not change it, um, but for the others, you may, um, because you wanna change the sequence. And if you look above, um, you can edit the name, so you can personalize it to your, whatever you wanna make it to be, okay? And then set up, guess what we do in set up? That's where we add recipients. What is cool about this, let's say that you're going to add recipients by group. So 
um, you had uh, 25 people in, in your past buyers, and then you've added um, 12 more for this year. And so now you have 37 buyers and you're getting ready to add them to a campaign. But it's easier to do it by group, right? Instead of individual agents, I mean, individual clients. What is cool is, is if they're already subscribed, it won't send the email to them twice. It won't start it over again. The program is smart enough to know that you've already have these people enrolled. So what will happen is, is you'll click on the group, select all, and it'll tell you that um, 30 or 37 selected. And then when you click OK, it's going to come back and say 12 emails sent. Why? Because 25 were already enrolled. I'm loving this program. Um, again, you can do it one by one, but groups are so much more efficient. So this is what I'm talking about. Okay. Add recipients. Um, you can go down there one by one by one just by clicking on it or do it by groups, which I find much more um, beneficial. So I'm on slide 56 and there's 106 slides to this presentation. I'm stopping here. The reason I'm stopping here is because um, in two weeks on the 17th, um, I intend to do the second half. That means that we, basically covered all of Moxie Engaged. Again, on the 17th, it'll be offered at one o'clock and at three o'clock um, on the 17th. My game plan, my intention is that um, I will, every Monday morning at nine o'clock, a schedule is going to go out of upcoming classes. Mondays will always be about Moxie Present. Tuesdays will always be about Moxie Engaged. Thursdays will always be about Moxie websites. And then Wednesday is going to be a off day where different programs such as Moxie Impress or um, Golden Ruler or Prospect Square or other courses that we can integrate into our teaching. Um, and so while in January I'm, I'm doing literally from the basics, Going into February, we're going to talk more about how do you customize it? How do you personalize it? How do you create custom pages? Where do you get the content from? Um, and again, I'm talking about all the products. You, I'm going to, I will teach you and show you how do you can create a website that is so personalized that no one in the office is going to have one like yours. If you want an example of what a website can be, Go to bobdevoremovesyou.com and look at all that um, is possible, okay? Again, that's bobdevoremovesyou.com. And I forget how many custom pages that I've created, but I want to give you ideas of what we can do when February rolls around, okay? So um, the intent is, is that the first three weeks will be all about um, teaching in the afternoons. In the mornings, starting next week, I will be also providing a link so that you can do, um, you can select a, a time where we can do a one-on-one -on -one consultation so that it's you and me in, in Zoom, and um, I, we can t walk you through the steps. And then, of course, week four, and if week five exists, there's four times a year, we have five weeks in a month. And um, so there will be more opportunities during week four and at week five for consultations because that's all I'm going to focus on. First three weeks is teaching in the afternoon and consultations in the morning. So I'm hoping that the schedule is um, going to be beneficial to you. This is trying to improve on um, where we came up short last year. And at this point, I got five minutes left. So you got any questions, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that link in there because if you came in late, I want to make sure that I put that link in the chat one more time. 
for you to be able to um, download the presentation. There's one for uh, the C21 side and there's one for the CB side. Just click on the link. Um, it goes to the Google Drive for um, the company on each side. And um, again, I, I hope you find it beneficial. I hope the way that it's being presented, instead of going through what, what I'm trying to do differently is um, when I would work with agents and everything else, you know, I stood in front of the room and I literally went through the app doing it. And from a basic standpoint, if you've never been in here before, you, a lot of people got lost and, and, and I respect that. Um, so what I tried to do is I tried to put together a complete um, presentation and that's why it's 106 pages long um, that will give you screenshots. And, you know, and I'm hoping you find that beneficial. Now, as we move to the 201 classes where we're gonna customize and edit, um, I'm going to be doing it on the fly. So you're gonna want the recording um, just because it will allow me to be more flexible, less rigid with what we can share and do with each other. So again, any questions before we go? Crickets. Listen to the crickets. Again, if you have any successes, please share. If you have any failures, please share. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Um, I'm putting my email address in the uh, chat as well so that you can reach out to me via email. Again, um, email is always better than calling um, because if I'm working with somebody, I typically don't answer my phone except for my wife. Um, she gets priority above all. Kids, ah, they can wait. Pauline, I might make the exception for you too. I mean, you're way up there in, in like God's country. I, you know, I just love Manistee. <laughs> um, any questions? And I just put my um, email address, or yeah, my email. I just put my website into the chat as well. So you can copy that, paste it, and go. Again, I'm doing it for the sole purpose of I want to give you ideas. Um, I have one agent that she is creating um, new construction. She works with three different contractors, three different builders, and she's creating individual pages to um, share because they build different types of homes. And um, th there's a couple of other agents that um, are big into blogging. So I shared content that way. I have one agent that um, has her own niche market. We created her website to be just all about her, her niche market. So um, again, questions? Seeing as there is none, and the fact that I got to get on another call in one minute. Cheers, peace, prosper, go forth. <laughs>